Hello friends! I'm back with another installment of my Happy Planner flip through. I've been using my Happy Planner this year as a memory keeper similar to Project Life so I include photos and things I found off the internet and some journaling and that kind of thing. Before we start the flip through I just want to welcome all my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have you. If you would if you like this video and you're interested in seeing the earlier months I will put a link to a playlist in the description box. So I started in December of 2015, so I have about six months now that you can check out if you're interested. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here's my June dashboard, and I put that this month was all about festivals and fireworks. We have a lot of firework uh, displays in our neighborhood, and those are always fun to watch. And we also have a lot of festivals um, in our city and in the park near where we live. So one of the festivals we went to this year was the Stone Arch Bridge Festival, and that's all music and art and lots of different foods and that kind of thing. Lots of good people watching. And then this is a new festival that I had never been to before. This was a food truck festival, and this was a blast. So there'll be more pictures um, coming up later in the month. Okay, for my June monthly list, I decided to do my summer bucket list. And summer has passed now, so I know that I did not get to all these things, but I did get to some of them. I did get to watch the July 4th fireworks, and I did go to the Drawing Drawing concert, so that was really fun. I did get to spend some time. I didn't spend an entire day reading out on the balcony, but I did get to spend some time reading out there. And we did go out dancing, and we went to the farmer's market. So I probably got over half done, so I think that's pretty good. I was excited to use these little stickers because I have these adorable little hedgehogs and these cute little foxes. So I was really uh, excited for my, <laughs> my stickers that I got to use this month because I thought they were really happy colors. And this is one of my very favorite washi tapes, is this grass uh, washi. So I was excited to, to pull out all my fun stuff. Okay, so I've got half the week here back in May, and that is talking about our trip to Europe. So that's in the May um, video, so that's the one just previous to this one. And then starting in June is when we got back home, and you know there's always like laundry and refilling the fridge and all those kinds of fun things just to maybe get some extra sleep after, after a vacation, because you always come home a little bit um, tired. Um, I did get to have lunch with my friend Amy um, that week, and we also went to Michael's and did a little bit of shopping. Um, I came home actually sick from our trip, so I was still kind of recuperating, but I did talk to a couple friends that weekend, so it was kind of just a, a catch-up week and weekend, I guess. On the first sort of full week of the month, um, I hung out with my friend Amy and we kind of had a work day. And I really love this picture. Now it, it doesn't quite, when I printed it out, it didn't quite capture sort of the colors that I want, but it was just really pretty, um, kind of like a sunset or dusk that night. So it was really soft colors. So I wish my picture would have turned out a little bit better, but it was just fun. My boyfriend Jose and I went out to dinner and then we got some ice cream and kind of sat on the stairs um, by this kind of church in our neighborhood and it was just relaxing and we had like some music going from our phones and it was just a nice relaxing evening. That was really fun. I'm watching Hell on Wheels. I think this might be season one or two here. And then that weekend um, was the shooting in Orlando. So I just found that so uh, so sad and just uh, I don't know. It's so tragic. All these poor people. So I just, um, I wanted to cut that out. I found that on the internet and just, um, yeah, see all their faces and I just, I felt really sad. All these terrible things happening in our country. Um, I met with my friend Shannon that weekend, so that was a really fun and positive thing. And we were talking about just my recent travels, and then she's getting married, as you know, if you watched the, <laughs> the earlier um, videos. And uh, so we were just kind of talking about her wedding plans and that kind of thing. So that was really fun. It was fun to connect with her. Here was mid-month, and I started a new job this week. Um, on lucky number 13, I started a new job, and I was excited to use all these um, flower and butterfly stickers. I sort of just 
mix and matched all these different things that I had um, together, so that was really fun. And we also got a new Hobby Lobby, and I did not realize that a Hobby Lobby was coming to um, the suburb near where I live, so I now have a Hobby Lobby that's pretty close to my house, probably 10 minute drive or so, so I am super excited about that. And on the weekend, we went to the Stone Arch Bridge Festival. And it's called that because we have a historic bridge called the Stone Arch Bridge. And um, it goes, spans the Mississippi, and it's only for pedestrian traffic. So there's always a lot of people walking and biking and oh, playing music there and taking photos. So it's very fun and it's a very picturesque area. And so anyway, they, had a, they have a festival every year on Father's Day. And they often don't have great weather, so I was glad that they had good weather this year because they put a lot of work into that festival and they get a lot of artisans coming. So it's always nice when they get good weather and a nice big crowd. So they had fireworks um, one night, and so I took some photos of the fireworks. And of course we walked and went shopping and got some food there. This is a label of one of the items that I bought. Um, these were natural bath and body products, so I got some different soaps and things. Okay, here's the third week in June. And I guess one of the big things that week was the Brexit vote in the UK. And I was just kind of interested in the story about that and what, what people who live there thought about the outcome of that vote. And so I was listening a lot on the radio that um, that week just to learn more, more about um, what will happen now to the people who live there. And Jose and I also like to go to coffee shops and just sit and relax. So this is one that we go to a lot. It's called Espresso Royale. And we like to sit outside or inside, but outside is nice in the summertime. And it's kind of just a little independent coffee shop. And we have a lot of fun there, just kind of relaxing, I guess. Take our computers or a book or something. And the food truck festival was also that weekend, and I told you a little bit about that on the dashboard page. Um, but this was really fun. There was over 50 food trucks, and they were all sort of in one area. And so you could try to just go around and try all kinds of different things. We This is a picture of one thing that we tried. It was a bacon, bacon grilled cheese sandwich, and then you got tater tots with it too. I also took a picture of Jose driving in his car because he really enjoys driving his car with the top down and so we went and drove around the lakes um, that weekend too because it was really beautiful weather so we had fun doing that and then the last week of the month I just have a little picture I took of the Minneapolis skyline I think I liked the clouds I think there was a storm either coming or going because it looks really dark um, back here in the distance and then there was this sort of cloud that was kind of like in a circle that I thought was kind of cool uh, and then you probably recognize Elvis here um, this is Scotty Moore which was one of his first guitarists and Scotty Moore passed away on Tuesday so I uh, found a photo of him and Elvis on the internet. Um, he was 84 years old, and so I just thought I would remember that on that day. And then this, I think this actually happened on July 1st, so I should put it in the next video, but I was so excited. I um, hit 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel, so thank you everyone who subscribed. I was super excited about that. I got to use my little yay sticker, and I took a, a picture with my phone, and I was just like walking on air that day. So anyway, I will put that in the next video because July video will be coming up soon. So I just wanted to thank you for stopping by my channel today. Please remember to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch the earlier videos, I will put a uh, playlist or a link to the playlist in the description box. And I will see you soon. Bye!